It's Kristen from the Crafty Kitchen, and uh, I have two word books to show you. I'm shooting this on my floor because I don't even want to show you my craft area. It's a mess because I've been trying to finish these books today. So I'm sitting on my floor, taping with my iPhone, but I just kind of want to show you. I made two books, more books for Christmas um, for some family. So I wanted to show them to you. The first one is Charlie. Um, it's a little girl. Her name is Charlotte, but everyone calls her Char Charlie. So I wanted to make her a little book. Um... The font is from Hannah Montana, um, and then I just, I got the shadow and then the regular uh, word. All of the pattern papers from the Nana's Nursery Baby Girl stack. Um, she's two, but she's a girly girl, so I figured pink would be okay. <laughs> and when you open it, there's a little glittery ladybug over here, some more glittery insects and it says little girls have a magic all their own that's from the pink by design all girl stamp set and I used my eye rock and I blinged up all the letters okay this is also from the all girl stamp set it says sugar and spice and everything nice and this is um a Fiskars or no EK success deep edge punch I got um over the summer it's the cupcake one so I need two lines of cupcakes um this is from the Cricut Light Cartridge Cupcake with a C for Charlie and there's a little tag in here and that's a K and Company Brad in the hole. I labeled all the photo mats. Um this is this is a cuddle bug die. Um it it's comes with the die and then four different folders to make different textured butterflies. So this whole page actually has three different butterflies on it, um, and the butterflies act as a as a photo. So we corner. have the, the monarch butterfly. This is a scrolly butterfly, and this is kind of like a postcard looking. It has like a postage stamp on it. It's pretty neat. So there's two three by fives here, and this is the Martha Stewart photo corner punch that I got at TJ Maxx for about three dollars. <laughs> okay, uh, this snail is from the Paisley cartridge. Um, I just got that at Michaels because it was nineteen ninety nine. And he's velcroed down, and you can put a four by four picture in here. I just did some stitching around the edges. I welded two squares together in my gypsy to make the frame. Here's a four by six, and I used just the corner punch from the Martha Stewart punch around the page set, just to kind of give it some a little different look. Here's two two by two frames. Um, this is the Cherish punch around the page set, which I love. It makes the pretty little flourish squares. Um, the, the XOXO is also from Paisley. I welded it into a rectangle to make a frame, and then they can put a 4x6 in here, and that closes up. Uh, this frame is from the Twinkle Toes cartridge, believe it or not, <laughs> and then that fits a 3x5. And then here's another Cuddlebug Butterfly and then this opens up and they can put a 5x5 five five here and then 3x5s five all the way around um, to just add a few more pictures and there's some glittery things on the sides there. Here's another page of 2x2's two and this stamp is from, I got it out of like the dollar bin at Michael's, it's a little owl and I thought it was cute so I stuck him on there. And then this frame I made using my nestabilities, the 3x5, and then you put a picture right there. And that's pretty much it for that one. I inked around all the edges using a worn lipstick distress ink. So there's Charlie. The second one I did is for, her name is Tesla, we call her Tess, but her name is Tesla. And uh, she is, I think, about to be one, if she's not one already. So... I went for less girly colors and more just fun colors. Um, and I think the letters came from the birthday cakes cartridge, I'm pretty sure. And then I just used my gel pen and I made little dots on each letter. Um, most of this paper is from the Nana's Nursery, or Nana's Kids 
stack because it's it's less girly. Um, and then if you saw my Peyton book, you know I use the same stamp. You make me smile over my face. I use Nestabilities to cut it out. Um, over here I used um, the Inka Dinka Do Sketchy Flourish stamp set, and I used um, the Versamark the Dazzle stamp pad that has the glitter in it in frost. So it's it's nice and glittery. Here's a three by five. Here's another one of those butterflies. I use them a lot in this in these books because they were easy to cut out. Another three by five where I use the edge punch around the edges. Um, this bird I believe is from I want to say Simply Charmed. I think don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure that's where he's from. And then it's the same type of four by four frame. It opens up. Um, I put some gems on the corners. This is a little cane company, Ladybug Brad. Two by two frames, and then uh, these flowers I got, I want them in a giveaway. Um, I have no idea where they're from or or anything like that, but they were cute, so I decided to throw them in there. I used the same XOXO frame just because I liked it and it looked cute. Um, so that's there. I used that Twinkle Toes frame again, um, and I cut a for a four by six photo. And it, it, pretty much the same format as the other book. This is this thing that opens up. There's a five by five and four three by fives in there that she can put pictures in. And then I inked around the edges of this one using vintage photo distress ink. But I mean that's pretty much it. I kept them nice and simple, um, so it'd be easy to add photos and you know do whatever you wanted to them um and i really hope they like them <laughs> so uh thanks for watching and i will see you guys later